Welcome to our next topic in War Century Part 1. So in this class today, we'll be covering these topics. Enter an invoice referencing a purchase order. Post a simple invoice. Good receipt based on invoice verification. Purchase order based invoice verification. Hold or park an invoice. Specify which updates takes place during document parking. Process a park document further, standard workflows, prepayment process and customizing of prepayment process. So we'll start with the business example that in your company recently they implemented SAP and must define the standard procedure for invoice verification. You also want to decide whether to implement purchase order based invoice verification or good receipt based verification. So in this topic I will be showing you what is the difference and what is the advantage and disadvantage of using purchase order based or good receipt based invoice verification. So, so far in the previous uh, classes we have seen the standard procurement where uh, we first created a purchase order and then we have done a good receipt and then finally we have done the invoice verification. Now this class is all about learning more about invoice, invoice verification and we'll go deep inside and see a lot of different functionalities within invoice verification. So first of all we'll talk about um, uh, information in an invoice. So when the customer will send us the goods after they after that they will send us an invoice okay so that we can send them the payment so once we receive the invoice in our company for for the invoice verification purpose uh, an invoice will may so, look something like this one where you can see a lot of different details you can see the address of the vendor you can see the reference number you can see purchase order number you can see material quantity price terms of payment, taxes, and all those sort of information. So using this invoice that was sent by the vendor will be doing our invoice verification in our SAP system. So reference for invoice verification. Now when you do the invoice verification which is Maro, then what are the different references that you can make? So when you create a uh, uh, invoice verification you have a lot of different references that you can use I'll show you here in a minute so what I will do like we created earlier uh, so first I will uh, create a purchase order so first I will create a purchase order like we done before and then I will create a good receipt so we have done it many times earlier and finally I will do a invoice verification which is Miro. So let me create one purchase order quickly. Here let me enter the vendor number and just any material here say so 10 pieces enter. So plant is 1000 enter. So press enter again. Now let me save it, there is no error. I will save this one. It will generate a purchase order number for you. Click on the message and copy the purchase order number. Now I will do the second step which is, so that is my purchase order number that. We will do a good receipt. So go to transaction my go. Here enter your reference number and press enter. So when you do the invoice receipt, you can also enter here like delivery note or bill of lading. So delivery note is just like a reference number. So I can say here uh, delivery note number say DN delivery note 123. Okay, bill of lading say just put a number BL123 for example. And I can say I received say six items so far. Now say okay. Just do a check, click on check. It's asking for enter store location. I will enter the store location, press enter. Do a check again. 
all looks okay just ignore the warning and post now as I have done the goods shipped so my uh, delivery note number was DL123 okay and the bill of lading number was BL123 so I can use this number as a reference instead of purchase order I can even use a purchase order as a reference I can also use this one as a reference so I have many options so if I use this number as a reference let me copy and paste that here in uh, Miro go to Miro invoice receipt and here enter the invoice date so put some date to rest this date and here in a reference you can use any type of reference I can use a purchase order scheduling, scheduling agreement as a reference I can use a delivery note bill of lading service entry vendor a lot of different options so if I say purchase order as a reference I can enter a purchase order and press enter okay or I can start the transaction again go to Miro enter the date and here delivery note you can enter here the delivery note number that I have just created okay so here I can say DL123 it will still bring up the same number the next list. Okay, let me open the purchase order. We'll check the number again. Can go to purchase order. Purchase order history. Open this one. The document. DN. Sorry, not DL. DN. So now, if I go to my row date. So here. In the delivery node enter DN123 press enter this should be N and you can see it will reference to the same document same purchase order all right so here I can uh, I can see it's talking what is saying that 501.60 dollars so I can enter the amount here 501.6 press enter okay so you can see there's a green light here that means all good and I can also now save it and it will post the invoice so asking for a date enter the date press enter and just another warning press enter and done so it created this document number for you so like this as I said you have the options to use any of this as a reference you can use any of this one as a reference. Now we'll talk about uh, the structure of the micro transaction. Okay, a lot of different fields that we can see in micro transaction. So when you open the micro transaction, so let me do another good ship for the four pieces left so I'll do the same for this one just say four four store location check post now we'll refer to this purchase order number again for Maro enter the date enter here purchase order number so when you do the invoice verification here there's a lot of data that you can see or a lot of functionality you can see in the system so for example if you call if you want to call another invoicing document you can click on this um, number this uh, sorry this icon and to call uh, another because just asking you to first save it or not but say no here you can call the invoicing document screen here you can enter the invoice document and the fiscal year and you can see the or you can display the existing invoicing document and then here in the messages you can see if there's any error or something for right now it's showing me the red light if I click on the messages it will it's, it's taking me to this field here showing me error, error message at the bottom enter a date here press enter okay so now it's showing me the error that balance is not zero so you need to make this balance as zero that means we need to enter some amount here then you can also see the vendor detail okay so here you can see the vendor name their address okay